Less than a month to go until Election Day, campaigns are aiming at securing the Latino vote. Six News' Philip Catafamo explains how both parties are planning to get support for that second congressional district. Democrat Representative Veronica Escobar of Texas was in South Omaha Saturday. The Texas Congresswoman is the Harris Walls campaign co-chair. She traveled to the Cornhusker state to motivate Latino voters ahead of the November election. They are deploying surrogates like myself to go into critical communities with powerful Latino populations to listen, to engage, to talk about issues, and to try to inspire them to get out to vote. She rallied for votes with fellow Latino politicians like congressional candidate Tony Vargas. In South Omaha, this particular demographic is represented well. A 2020 UNO study showed that Latinos make up 44% of residents in that area. Capturing that demographic is key for either party if they want to win District 2, which has been called a blue dot in a sea of red. Over the last two years, the voice of Latino voters have grown. According to a study done by the Pew Research Center, 36.2 million Latinos are eligible to vote in 2024. That's up 4 million since 2020 and more than double the 14.3 million who voted in 2000, making Latinos the nation's second largest group of eligible voters ahead of black and Asian Americans. Democrats aren't the only party looking to earn the Latino vote. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump introduced the Latino Americans for Trump coalition this year. At the local level, Representative Don Bacon, who's running against Vargas, is also making efforts in District 2. His campaign manager, Matthew Zacker, says they've made a push to appeal to the base as well. Obviously, radio is a staple. Radio Lobo in South Omaha. We prioritize that area with our field program. We have dozens of interns that go door to door campaigning for Don, um, and that's one of our priority areas. Come November, this blue dot could switch hands like it has over the years. In 2008, it went to Barack Obama. In 2012 and 2016, it switched to Republican, but went back to Democrats in 20. 20. Time will tell what color it will turn when district residents cast their vote. Reporting in Omaha, Philip Catafamo, 6 News. So if you applied for one of those early voting ballots in Douglas County, they'll start being mailed out tomorrow.